Hey up guys, it's Kyle here and welcome to the Puppeteer demo review. Now Puppeteer, it feels a lot like Little Big Planet in many ways. You could possibly actually recreate the entire game in Little Big Planet 2 if you were skilled enough. And I'm sure some people out there are. One of the game's main features is the head swapping, which reminds me of a really ancient game called Heads, with a Z on the end of it. So suave, I know. Unfortunately, I can't give you any footage of that as the game doesn't work on anything past Windows Vista. But the entire game is like set on a stage and it's so unique in that aspect. I also feel that Kutaro isn't even the main character, it's more about Ying Yang than anything. He's just so funny and amusing and just to listen to the things he says and the way he says it like Mune Sparkle and Mugic. Mune sparkles, music. I know it's kind of childish, but it just makes me laugh. It just has a lot of charm to it, and it just adds to the game, and it works so well. And there are actually quite a few heads in the demo alone, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you only get to use like two of them, which I think are the skull and the spider. Oh, actually, no, you get to use the burger as well. Yeah, you get to use the burger at one point, but only once, which is sad. My favourite part of the demo is walking up the trials and tribulations and having Yin Yang make all the animal sounds. <laughs> also, the moon bear pig's like pet servant massive cat thing uh, is actually like huge and scary, but he's like really soft. It's actually quite funny. A big pussy. But once you get the Calibus, the game changes completely. You unlock the ability to attack, and you can also fly. And I'm sure there'll be even more uses for it later on, because you can kind of see it in the ending little movie thing that they show. Also, at the very top, you can see the, the two little faces, and that indicates a cutscene. That's a nice little touch right there. You can also play this game in two player, but unfortunately I have no friends to play it with, so I can't really show you that. Also, you can play this game with the PlayStation Move, which I think will be extremely fun, especially when it comes to fly cutting, if it has fluid motion. In summary, this game seems very fun in a lot of aspects. It's a simple platform with a lot of charm, and if you like Little Big Planet, you'll definitely like this game. And who doesn't like Little Big Planet? The game's actually fairly cheap for what it is, and I've heard it's quite long as well, especially in two-player. In my opinion, it's well worth checking out. Just as a side note guys, the way I mean it's like Little Big Planet is it has the same charm, the same narration style, the same style of storytelling, just by that aspect alone, not the fact that you can create your own world. So thank you guys for watching, please do leave a like if you like, you can also subscribe down there, you can also share this video on Facebook, Twitter and Google+, it really does help me out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace! A short time ago, in a galaxy far from far away, Hero and Tyrant would soon have their final showdown. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon, and the earth, and the sun, and galaxy, and... Well, let's just say he'd better not mess up.